Hey all, so if you're watching this video series, this video series is basically just, um, you know, some of the most common JavaScript interview questions that you might get when you're looking for new jobs as a front end developer. Um, I decided to put this together just because I thought, uh, you know, this might be useful to somebody. And especially if you're a beginner and you're really trying to understand this stuff, sometimes it's a little difficult, so watching the video can help. So with that said, we'll go into this first question. What is the difference between the double equals and the triple equals in JavaScript? Well, right off the bat, <clears throat> this is about comparing uh, two different values. And this one is about comparing not only the values, but also their types. So if you're not familiar with that, let me go ahead and just talk about what those things are. So we all know that when you create a variable, you simply do it by saying var x, and that's basically my variable name. And then we use this single equal sign to assign the value. So here I'm declaring a string of four, so I am assigning it the value of four. But remember, it's a string, so it's actually a string four. Then I'm going to make another variable called y, and same thing, I'm assigning this value as four. This time it's not a four, but it's a four with um, the number type. Okay, so assigning the value of four. So now our basic question is, is y equal to x? So the simplest way we can do that is by saying console log y equals x. However, <coughs> you'll notice I'm saying two equal signs. If I say y equals x like this, it means I'm assigning the value of string 4 to uh, y, which now replaces the 4 here with string 4. And that won't return back anything to us. It will just do the assignment, and then we're done. Nothing will get print, printed to the console. So we want to print something to the console. So in order for us to print to the console, we want to do console log y double equals, and this will say is y equal to x. So I'm going to save my file here. And if you don't have this file, uh, or if you want to follow along, just pause the video, take a second to copy everything I've got here. And then once you're ready, we'll go ahead and open this together. Okay, so if you've done what I've asked, and um, you've got this sitting there too, let's go ahead and open this in a browser. And it's going to open this over here. Okay, so I see nothing right now, but that's what we expected because I have to right click and inspect the console. And if you notice right here, here's the console, and it says true. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the console and the websites and all this stuff, I definitely recommend checking out some of my earlier videos on how to use the console log um, and how to create a simple web page. Uh, but if you're familiar with that stuff, then this should be a piece of cake. Um, so we'll see that this is a true statement. So the values of 4 and string 4 are equal to each other. That's a true statement. However, are they the same type? See how this has quotes and this has a number? A lot of people might think that they're actually not equal to each other because this is a string type and this is a number type. So in JavaScript, in most programming languages, we have one more way of debugging. Um, you know, whether these values are really equal to each other and if they are the same type. So we'll do that by saying y equals equals x. This is our third equal sign. So you, some people like to say, is this really equal to y? And if so, print out the statement. So we'll save this. I'm going to come back over here. And this time I will refresh my browser. And now I see true. And then so it's false. So if I click this line number, it says that this line number is true, y equals equals x, but y is not truly equal to x. That's a false statement because they are not the same type. Type. So I hope this explains the difference between double equal and triple equal. Remember, if you ever get asked this question, Basically, you should be able to say one equal sign means assignment, assigning values, two equal signs means comparison of values, and three equal sign means comparison of values and types.